Okay, welcome back. Um, so now we're done screwing around with the stupid viewport viewing angle camera crap. <laughs> we're going to go on to the next thing, which I think we're getting close. And then signing layers here probably is not going to apply to us. So um, because of the way the collection system works, I, I'm guessing. I thought I saw it in there somewhere. Somewhere it supposedly still had layers somewhere, but I don't think it's, it's there. Adding, removing objects, undo, redo, repeat. Select a cube with the left mouse button in this case, not the right mouse button. R and B stands for right mouse button, but we're saying left mouse button because it's 2.8. Press either X or delete, and after confirming the pop-up, the cube disappears. Been deleted from your scene. Unlike mere hiding, it's really disappeared. Control Z will undo your last operation, and it reappears. Click the position the 3D cursor away from the default cube. Press Shift A to bring up the Add menu. Go to its mesh. Add it. Okay, so we, you know we can do this stuff here. Okay, so, so I'm I'm just gonna go through it, and you kind of learn how how to use. Um, this would probably be in a um, this would probably be uh, in a actual um, tutorial. It would probably be the basic one of the basic deals would be manipulating the object. It wouldn't be going through all this other junk. Um, you know, manuals, they tell you everything about the interface. Start with, um, most, uh, well, we'll get you familiar with the interface in a, maybe an introductory video, and then we'll go on to actually, uh, getting to th this part here. So, select, why is it doing that? Why does it have to keep, mm, okay, whatever. Um, so, boom, okay, so we select... Then we um, hit, what do we do? X, okay, delete, and now it's gone. Okay, hit Control Z, and it, there it is again. Okay, so now um, we're not gonna use the left mouse button to position the 3D cursor. Actually, we are. Um, click the left mouse button to See, okay, so usually it's uh, select with right mouse button and then do the 3D cursor with left mouse button, but here, um, right now, it's kind of the other way around. Except, now, everything can be pretty much done with the left mouse button. If you want to do, change the 3D cursor with the right mouse button, you hit, uh, what was it, was it control? No, it wasn't control, it says shift. Shift, right mouse button will move the 3D cursor. However, you can also just do this, 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 this. Okay. So, um, press Shift A, add another cube to the scene. Control Z to bring it back to single cube. So, so A, no, not select. I'm dumb. Um, A, A, um. Shift A. What am I thinking? Cube. Cube. There we go. See? Just added a cube. Cool, eh? Okay. So we move the 3D cursor over here, and we do Shift A again, and we add a torse. Look at that. It's a donut. Tasty, tasty donut. Okay. Um. Okay. Control, Control Z. I can, you know, like that. Okay. Um. Control Shift Z will undo the undo and redo the last operation you undid. Now, normally in most um, like paint program, most basically most uh, programs, um, Control Y is usually redo. But considering that this is what it is, Control Shift Z, Control Shift Z, Control Shift Z, oh, okay, is what is doing it. So Control Z, Control Y doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's correct. Try adding a third cube. C 
Control Z should undo that and take you back to the two cubes. Pressing Control Z again should undo the addition of the second cube and take you back to one. Control Shift Z at this point to restore the second cube and again to third, the third. And I just messed with that so you can see how that works. Blender remembers up to 30 of the last 32 things you did depending on your limit you set your preference in this undo stack. Go backward and forward through the Control Z. Control Shift Z. Sometimes you have to perform an action repeatedly to repeat the last action type shift R. All right, so let's do something a little bit different. Here. Let's uh, here, let's get this off here somewhere. Let's uh, shift A and let's try a let's try a icosphere okay and then let's move this here and let's do shift R okay that just created an icosphere right in the same place apparently G okay neat still neat looking Okay, so, repeat the last action, so you can, um, in fact, um, you, well, of course, you can also duplicate, so what's the difference between duplicate and uh, repeat? What's the difference between duplicate and using... Shift R to repeat the last action. I guess uh, repeat last action doesn't necessarily have to mean adding an act an object. It could mean um, you know deleting something or whatever, maybe. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, so what uh, what are we on here? Are we on our last? We are actually on our last video, so I'm, and I'm running out of time here. Early, you learn about showing and hiding later in the 3D view. You assign layers to uh, selected objects. Press M. The keyboard shortcuts here apply when choosing the layers. Display one key to uh, okay. After assigning an object to a different layer, it disappears. If this happens to you, it's because the layer is assigned to the object the layer you have currently have visible in the 3D view. Is nothing have nothing in common. Simply change the visible layers. Um, okay, so. Um, what if I hit M? What would happen? Oh, see, now it's saying move to collection. Oh, uh, okay, so the, I guess the, the layers thing has been completely deprecated by, um, by the whole collection thing. And so it's much, much easier to work with the collections. You can just put all kinds of different things in different collections. You can have collections in collections. So it just makes it easier for you to, you know, select stuff and 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 to do various things. For instance, uh, like hiding everything. I could hide everything in this scene, and they're hiding from view. They're not gone. They're just I can't see them. Okay. So object action settings. To bring up the add menu again, Shift A. This time, a new cylinder mat add a new cylinder mesh of the scene. Look to the left of the three D view of the tool shelf. Toggle its visibility with T if not visible. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit um, odd here, a little bit tricky. Um, so uh, let's see. Add a new cylinder. Okay, so let's uh, let's file let's new new general. And yes, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do shortcut VR. I'm going to, it's just an add-on that JNM created because uh, the old one wasn't there, so it isn't there in this. the uh, The thing that shows you your um, your your keys, um, so like you, when you're streaming stuff, it's probably going to be in the actual final version. So that's cool. So let's just go ahead and delete this, and let's go ahead and add Shift A. Let's add a cylinder. Like it says okay um, 
in a tool shelf toggle its visibility with teeth not visible it's visible at the bottom you should see a new panel appear titled add cylinder near the top of it it is the vertices number oh it is there okay vertices look at that super smooth because it has 20 bunch billion vertices that is cool okay um, um, at the bottom uh, add cylinder vertices number initially set to 32 fairly round reduce it to six just a few adjust the view necessary to get a good view of your cylinder you will now see a hex hexagonal prism change the number to three and it becomes a triangular prism this is an example of a important user interface convention that runs right through blender first you select the object you want to perform an operation on as appropriate not applicable here because we want we are creating a new object then you perform the specified action with some default settings you finally adjust the settings to give the exact result we want this way instead of getting a pop-up before the action is performed into which you have to put the right settings and hope they will give the right results you will get to interactively adjust the settings immediately see the results without having to continually redo the operation and deal with pop-ups that's pretty cool because um um, that's kind of right. Mm -hmm. Let's see, radius. We can make it. We can make it like a disc. Actually, here we can do that. This. Here, that's uh, eighteen. Let's say sixteen. Okay, and. We can shrink it down, and now it's a just a platform or something, or a button, or whatever. That's pretty cool. So, um, now we are, I believe at the end here, we're, I'm going to switch to the next uh, daily. And now we are in what is a mesh, right? Introducing edit mode. We'll see all this interesting stuff. And what I'll do here is now I'll go back to go ahead and go back to the table of contents. So your first mesh models, meshes in edit mode, normals and shading, more mesh mesh editing techniques, quickie lighting, quickie model, quickie render, enter the world, understanding the camera, improving your house. Section 2B smooth meshes. 2C. So supposedly you're gonna actually make some stuff through this so we'll see if uh, we can do it we'll see if it uh, works out um, and um, it looks like see I'm not let's like I said I'm not done with the here let's actually let's actually switch this back so I can see more of the thing in here so basic modeling and shading section 2a section 2b 2c and you know what I'll do is I'll probably I'll probably go through these sections um, in um, here. Let's stop this and reset it. In fact, let's close that. Um, so I'll probably go through you know however many days it takes. Um, we'll see if I can just like do one like section per. It won't be one section per day, um, but hopefully it'll expand to the you know to the days. Like if it takes two days, it'll be eight videos. If it takes three, it'll be twelve takes one day it'll just be the four videos that sort of thing Brining horizons taking off with advanced tutorials and so it looks like it's going to take kind of a long time this took kind of a long time to to get through here um get through the just that small opening part and now we're going to like a, a more there's you know a, a longer part so um uh, I'll pro like I said, I'll probably, um, okay, since, since we're at the 10th, I'm at Monday, and I'd already done my Tuesday's videos, and this video that you're watching will probably be on Wednesday, so that means on Thursday, Thursday or Friday, maybe both, I don't know, um, I'm gonna go into, like, story or whatever, and, uh, we'll see, um, I'll just do, I might do some talking and, you know, um, how I'm going to change things or, you know, what I'm going to do in, in the upcoming videos. So, um, thanks for watching. I guess, uh, 
you know, like, subscribe, and share, and whatever they all say about videos. You know, I only average about three to four views per video. Um, and I do mean per video. I don't mean per video per day. Um, I mean per video. And uh, you only have like 50 something, 54 subscribers or something, uh, 30 of which, uh, 30, 40 of which were, you know, from old time um, subscriptions that I, I don't even know if they're even around anymore. But anyways, um, so, you know, so like and share it and all that stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next video.